Let's now go to author and lecturer Rabbi Taylor. Rabbi, uh, this shocking doco was put together in part because there's so much denial about the rapes, the, the sexual violence that occurred on that day and afterwards to, to some of the hostages. Uh, why have we seen so many feminists and the Me Too crowd silent about these atrocities? Well, thank you for having me, uh, Rita. Um, I, I have no idea why what's usually uh, touted as believe all women uh, doesn't apply to Israeli women, doesn't apply to Jews. And one of the most puzzling things that 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 I have gleaned from the horrific attacks of the 7th is following World War II, there were many people that to this day are denying the Holocaust. And I thought, how could such a thing be? How could you deny the Holocaust when we have uh, footage that was captured by the Nazis? We have uh, living survivors that we have the opportunity to speak with. How could you possibly deny it? And yet, right before our eyes, in our modern times, right, just six months ago, you have terrorists going in, doing the worst atrocities in modern history, and documenting it and distributing it and, and publicizing it in the most vile way. And there are still people, large swaths of people, that deny that it ever happened. I have no idea where this sort of mentality comes from, except perhaps Jew hatred. Well, that's the one thing that was noted after this, uh, uh, after those uh, images came to light, the, the body cam footage, the, the footage the terrorists shot themselves, proud of what they had done, um, that even the Nazis were ashamed. They tried to hide their atrocities. But with this uh, group, with Hamas, they're proud of it. They wanted the world to see what they did. And yet, despite overwhelming evidence, you've got people who, who cast doubt on what happened. Is a uh, babies weren't killed, women weren't systematically raped. And uh, and we're seeing other instances of anti-Semitism, anti-Israeli sentiment in, in our cities, in universities in particular. I just want to play you some footage, just a tiny slice of it. This has just come to light today at a protest in Boston where they're chanting, no justice, no peace, no Zionists on Boston streets. <laughs> I can just imagine if, if you're a, a Jewish person encountering that and hearing that. Uh, what's your advice to Jewish students and their parents uh, in the West, including right here in Australia? We've had similar incidents here. Should they take a safety first approach and fly under the radar, perhaps hide signs of their Jewishness? Or should they be uh, proud of their heritage and face the hostility that is undoubtedly present on these campuses? Oh, there's no doubt. There's no doubt at all that uh, these students should not conceal their Jewishness. They don't have to be in people's face and try to make problems, but, but certainly don't hide who you are. That's exactly part of the plan. That's part of this war is, is trying to not only kill Jews worldwide, but to instill fear. We cannot be afraid. We we need to use it as an opportunity to enhance our our connection with our heritage as well. I'd recommend for Jewish students in particular to find local Jewish organizations that are on campus. Chabad, for example, is on campuses across the world. Hillel, whatever organization uh, is going to connect you with your Jewish roots a little bit more to attend uh, Shabbat services, a dinner with your friend, whatever it is, do not hide your Jewishness. Go loud, go proud, but mm. use it as an opportunity to enhance your connection. Rabbi, thank you so much for your time this evening. I really do appreciate it.